Welcome back, one and all, to another fight prediction on December 17th, or tomorrow. We have some light heavyweight action with Artur Beterbiev, the IBF and WBC light heavyweight champion, who brings in a record of 16 wins, all by knockout, no defeats. He's going to take on Marcus Brown, who brings in a record of 24 wins, 16 by knockout, and one defeat. This is the traditional boxer versus puncher. Now, it has been said... Brown does not take the best punch and couldn't put away a severely damaged Badu Jack. If you haven't seen that fight, check it out. But Betterbiev is 36, so father time, that's not on his side. And I believe, and this this is going to be a telling fight. This is going to let me know where Artur Betterbiev is. And I know Marcus Brown doesn't take the best punch. He could he could come out and Beterbiev could knock out Brown in the first round. It could happen. And that would that would show me a little something from Beterbiev. But Beterbiev and Callum Johnson may be shot fighters. And I'm not saying this from hate. I, I, I hate saying that. Two fighters that I believe took their souls when they fought each other. Their boxing souls. I mean, think about this. Beterbiev fights... A fan-friendly style, yes. Knockouts galore. Inside fighting beautifully. Moves around. Positions himself. Slight stuff that you don't see sometimes. I don't even see sometimes. But he does it beautifully. We catch it on replay and it's like, oh, he just switched his elbow or shoulder. You know, he moved it this way. Just slight things that you don't think of that an inside fighter does think of. Positioning. All that stuff. We're going to see in this fight because Marcus Brown can box. Now, is Marcus Brown a Vozdik level fighter? No, I don't think so. Even though I think Vozdik now, looking back on it, is a little overrated. No hate, but I'm just saying what I'm saying. A little overrated, but that was Betterbiev's biggest fight. And could this Betterbiev beat that Vozdik? I don't know. It was a TKO in the 11th round. Marcus Brown is going to be a, a big test for him. He's going to box. And Beterbiev is going to try and get on the inside. But Beterbiev does have a jab. I'm not going to discredit that. But can Marcus Brown dance around him and maybe pick off some points and some rounds to win by decision? That is possible. If he is a shot fighter, which I, I hate to say this, I think... That he and Callum Johnson are shot fighters because they just took their souls in that fight. Check that fight out. It was a brutal fight. Look at Callum Johnson's level of competition after that fight. He should be sparking these people out in the first two rounds. But he got dropped by a couple of them, I believe. Or maybe just one of them. I forget. But anyways, he should be just banging on through them. But that's not happening. Because something's wrong with Callum Johnson. That fight with Artur Beterbiev. Beterbiev, I like the knees. He showed great stuff. But Beterbiev, Artur Beterbiev, the real Terminator Artur Beterbiev, would have just destroyed Dini's, Just crumpled him like paper, like nothing. Like nothing. So that leads, leads me to ask the question, is Beterbiev shot? Not his fault. Inside fighting is a very... Short-lived fighting style. Fan-friendly, yes. But short-lived to where you're at that elite level because your body takes so much punishing. Same thing with Callum Johnson. Watch these fights. Watch these fighters fight each other. Callum Johnson versus Artur Beterbiev. Then watch the fights afterwards. So Marcus Brown is going to be... This is a better fight than a lot of people are, you know, just... Kind of overlooking Marcus Brown. Oh, Beterbiev is going to face Bivol. We would all love that. I would love that. That would be amazing. And a lot of, a lot of people uh, was, was like, oh, Bivol just, you know, cruised past Salomov and Salomov wasn't that great. Let me tell you something. Salomov is a damn good fighter. Salomov could not get anything going. Bivol shut him down. His game plan was just, I'm going to shut you down. You're not going to get going. And then here's some combinations for your for your trouble. That's what Bivol did. It wasn't just a cruising. He just shut Salomov down. And Salomov is no bitch. Salomov would give Joe Smith Jr. and could possibly beat Joe Smith Jr. Like Vlaslav did. Vlaslav beat Joe Smith Jr. I'm not going to lie. 
haven't been lying. That was a robbery. But Vlasov, dangerous fighter. But Solomov, same way. Anyways, where I'm getting at is, yes, I'd love to see Better Be Evan Bivol, but you don't write off Marcus Brown. This is a huge test for Better Be Is he shot? Is he not shot? Can he deal with a boxer just dancing around him? Yes, Marcus Brown doesn't take the best punch, but can Betrubiev get in close enough to get that shot? We will see. That's what makes this fight a lot bigger than a lot of people are thinking it is. A lot of people just think Betrubiev is going to run through Brown. <sighs> I don't see that happening as in just a few, just a, just a, Huge run through. I, I I could be wrong because uh, Lyndon Arthur versus uh, Yard Two. I had that a draw because I didn't give a flying fuck about that fight. But no, fourth round knockout. Damn good fight. Still watched it, but I just didn't just didn't give a shit about it. Dan Aziz fucked somebody up. I should start covering a lot of his fights. Uh, but anyways, this is a bigger fight than a lot of people are thinking that it is. And I have the winner being Artur Beterbiev by 12th round TKO KO knockout. Because we do know that Beterbiev not only has power, he has late round knockout power. That's what makes him so special. Some people have power and then, oh, he's past the 6th round or 7th round or 8th round. He's not going to knock him out. He's just going to go, it's just going to go to a decision. There are fighters galore like that. Not Better Biev. Better Biev carries that power late. And I think Marcus Brown is going to do a lot of dancing around. Maybe pick some rounds here and there. But this is going to be a telling fight. Is Artur Better Biev, and I'm not saying he's washed or this or that, but being shot is different. Going to war after war after war inside fighting. That's different. Is Better Biev a shot fighter? We will see. Is Callum Johnson a shot fighter? We will see. Can Joe Smith Jr. come back from COVID? We will see. Lots happening in the light heavyweight division. And the reemergence and and an actual great showing from Anthony Yard. So, you know, golf clap. And that I don't the reason why I don't do applause is because I'm not gonna spike the mic. Anyways, take it easy, everybody. Later.